What's up everybody, how you doing? Well, if it's summer where you are, then you're probably feeling the same way I'm feeling. Very hot. So today I'm gonna show you how to make a very zesty, tangy, spicy, fresh tasting watermelon salsa. It's so good. Let's get started. Okay, so first and foremost, prepping is everything. So you gotta prepare all of this stuff because there's a lot of chopping that you need to do. So we'll get that done, get it out of the way, and then just the throwing together takes seconds. So the first thing you wanna do is start by cutting up your watermelon. Now the cool thing about this recipe is that you're actually going to use the watermelon as your container. So of course, start by slicing the actual watermelon probably about three quarters of the way up or down, depending on where you're cutting. Open it up and then cut horizontally and vertically. Once you've done that, you're gonna cut around the circumference and then just start digging out. Everything's gonna fall out really easily. It's fantastic. So once you've cleaned all the watermelon out, now you've gotta chop it up just into small little cubes. And you're looking for about four cups or 750 grams. But truth be told, if you want more watermelon, put it in. Once that's done, you're gonna cut up your zucchini and your cucumbers, your two jalapenos, your mint, and your cilantro. I forgot to chop up the red onion. And last but not least, your red onion. All right, the onion is chopped. So now what you're going to do is add some cold water to the onions and let them soak for about 10 minutes. All this does is it kind of just takes out the sharpness of the, of the onions so that their flavor isn't as strong when you add it to everything else and it doesn't overpower the salsa. And finally, it is time to combine everything. So I've already got the watermelon in the big bowl along with the soaked uh, onions, the red onion. In goes the cilantro. How do you guys feel about cilantro? I recently like started using it. I know a lot of people hate it, but I kind of like the flavor. I put the zucchini in, I put in the two mini cucumbers. Then we've got a cup or about 150 grams of uh, corn. The jalapenos, two or less if you want. Might be a little spicy. And for that pop of freshness, about a half a cup of mint because we're not done yet. We are going to add in the zest of one lime and the juice. Squeeze that right in there. A little bit of juice from an orange, a little salt and pepper. Now we just take a big spoon and mix all of this wonderful goodness. This is so nice. All right, let's get this ready for presentation. This is amazing, right? So good. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. Please give this recipe a try and let me know how it goes in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Ooh, it's so good.